Alright, let's complete this unit circle. This is not the only unit circle video that I have, so I highly suggest that you watch both of them just for fun. Now let's start out the unit circle by labeling my degrees. Now we always deal with radians here in pre-calculus land, so we always start out at the positive x value, the positive x-axis at zero radians, and then up here you have pi over 2 because halfway through it is going to be pi, so I'll put that there, which makes you one and a half pi, also known as three pi over two, like so. Okay, this is going to be a third of my way through, a half of my way through, and two thirds of my way through. So a third of pi over two is going to be pi over six, Half of pi over 2 is going to be pi over 4. And 2 thirds of pi over 2 is going to be pi over 3 because it would be 2 sixths pi, or yeah, 2 pi over 6. Okay, coming over here now, I'm going to add a third. So that's 2 pi over 3. This is halfway between pi over 2 and pi, so that's three quarters of a pi. And then you are two thirds of my way through, so you're going to be five pi over six. Okay, and now this part is just a matter of you taking all of these values and adding a pi to it, or, you know, whatever over whatever. So like six pi over six, uh, plus pi, you know, plus pi over six is going to be seven pi over six. Okay, this is going to be five pi over four because you're going to add four over four. This is going to be four pi over three because you're going to add one to that. And then this is going to end up being the same idea. You're just going to add one to that. So that's going to be five pi over three like that. This is going to be 1 plus that, so 7 pi over 4. And last but not least, we're going to add 1 to that, so 11 pi over 6. Okay? All right. This is a unit circle. So you are, let me get different colors now that I have all my pi's written out. You are going to be the point one zero. You are going to be the point zero one. You are going to be the point negative one zero. And you are going to be the point zero negative one. Now, the trick behind filling out the unit circle is you kind of want to imagine everything as root something over two, okay? Root something over two. Now, when I work my way around, okay, you're going to start out with root three over two, root two over two, and root one over two. The square root of one is one, so you can just do one over two. Now working my way backwards is literally working my way backwards. You are now root three over two. You are root two over two. And you are root one over two, which is just one over two. This is quadrant one, so the points are given to you as a positive value and a positive value. Leave it like that. Now, as you keep going, this point lines up with that point over there. But I know that this is quadrant two, which means the x values are going to be negative, but the y values remain the same. So you are one half, negative one half, let me make that more obvious, negative one half, root 3 over 2. You are going to be negative root 2 over 2, regular root 2 over 2. You are going to be negative root 3 over 2, 1 half. Okay? 
as I come down here to quadrant three. You guys seem to line up very, 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 very nicely. However, this is quadrant three, which means everything is negative, 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 negative. Okay, and you're just going to follow the same procedure as I do over here. So you are negative root three over two, one half, root two over two, root two over two, both negatives, and you're going to be the same as that, negative one half and negative root three over two. Last but not least, we're gonna continue the process. This is quadrant four, which means you're gonna have a positive value and then a negative y, positive value, then a negative y, positive value, and then a negative y. And these guys seem to line up nicely. So I'll call you positive one half, negative root three over two. I'll call you positive root two over two, uh, negative root two over two, and I'll call you uh, positive root three over two, negative one half. Okay, so basically, I mean, I, I don't know. It is what it is. Unit circle is never the prettiest thing in the world. But once you kind of figure out the starting point, the rest of it just falls into place nicely. So you don't have to go crazy trying to memorize too much. But there it is, unit circle.